Alright, so this is the part 2 of our Hades weapon guide. As mentioned in the last video, the video was cut up into two parts and, uh, well, this is the second one. Hope you enjoy the video. So moving on, just now you saw a sneak peek. <laughs> moving on to the bow. So the aspect of Zagreus, it's like the sword, it has crit chance. In the second aspect but the crit chance is a bit lower so you can get a maximum of 15 with this one while the sword you get a maximum of yeah you get a maximum of 30. so it's a bit lower but it's still not that bad so the bow like like any weapon it's range but there is a small cast time but the range is decently long yeah even from here so basically from here to here you can still hit your, your hitbox is basically the edge of this arrow, like the very tip of this arrow, and you can still hit people. So, the way you use this bow, hold your basic attack, and it will just uh, power up a shot for you. There is a small chance, so well, when it flashes, as soon as it flashes, you just release your attack, like that. Like that, and that's a powerful shot. So that's like your highest optimal damage point. But namely, when I'm playing the bow, I'm playing around the heavy attack, which is this the volley. Now, the volley is really fun. You can do a lot of good stuff with the volley. So let's say uh, Athena's deflect heavy. You can, all the arrows will deflect the shots, which is very useful. Um, the bleed, as mentioned before, from Ares. You can bleed the entire room like the uh, Aspect of Chaos. You can charm an entire room. You can poison an entire room. You can... I, I like this attack just because it's very flexible. Even though this is your main... That is your main damage point. Yeah. Now, next is the Aspect of Charon. Charon is very interesting. Charon is very interesting as your volley attacks will home in to a target after you hit him with a powerful strike. So you see that little mark on them. Once you once you use your volley attack, all of them will target the mark. So let's say you have a target that you want to chunk out very quickly. Boom. And boom. Now when you upgrade this, you have more arrows to work with. I don't have it. Thank you. I don't have it upgraded yet. I think you can get it to 7? 5, 6, 7, eight. Oh no. 7 or 8. I can't remember. So basically your playstyle is going to be marking someone, pressing your heavy attack. And it's from any direction. So if I just hit him and look backwards, it still will track. It will still try to track him. It's just any target you hit with your basic attack and I'm pretty sure it has multi-targeting So if an enemy was behind Skelly here, and I hit him as well. I'm pretty sure it would target both of them Next aspect is the aspect I use a lot the aspect of Hera So like the aspect of Beowulf your cast go into the bow and then it will do the damage twice so once it enters it will do the damage then once it exits it will do the damage again so in terms of damage output Hera has more damage output than Beowulf if you want to do a like pure damage cast build but in terms of uh, utility Beowulf is better in terms of in utility in, t uh, in comparison to Hera Hera is still the same volley attack Normal light attack, then you have the dash strike. That all the attacks are very similar to all the other aspects. Now the last aspect, aspect of Rama. This is really fun, <laughs> and it you're you're a bit slower, but in return you have a giant AOE like that. And your volley fire is straight now, but it's full auto. So, at full auto and in ricochets, I forgot about that. So what you want to do with uh, Rama, you see that little mark? 
that's on top of Skelly. Uh, basically what that does, when you basic attack, you'll do more damage. And I, of course, of course, when I'm demonstrating. When I'm demonstrating, of course, the mark goes away. So, boom. So if you do this, it will, yeah, 97 plus additional damage. Yeah, 54. You can get a lot of big numbers from this. So if you combine, if you combine, uh, again, uh, Artemis, you can combine Dionysus, you can combine Demeter. I like to play around the heavy attack, just this full machine gun. Then the the basic attack, I do it as, you know, boss damage. But you can play this around, you can play this uh, however you want to. I just like it. I just like doing it that way. Now, moving on to the f oh, the fastest, in my opinion, the fastest DPS weapon in the game. And that's the, the fist. So, starting off the aspect of Zagreus. Dodge chance is actually very nice. It goes up to 25. Yeah, 25. So, dot, having 25% chance to just straight up ignore damage is nice. But it, it's okay... Not that good, and it's still a bit of RNG, but still, it's okay. It's, it's it's still a nice aspect to go for. So basically, but the fist itself, the moveset is actually very nice. So, uh, you don't have to tap, but I prefer tapping. You can just hold, and it'll do the same thing. So with the fist, you kind of just want to do this. You want to dodge, you just want to continuously dodge, hit the enemy, and just stagger them to death like that. And you can get a lot of good DPS numbers like that, but the the risk with using the fist, you have to get really close. The range of the fist is not that high. Even from here, it won't hit. And the sword hit from here, so you have to get like here to actually count for damage. Now the the fist has two dash attacks, so you have the dash light attack, then the dash uppercut. If you stand normally, it's an uppercut as well. The, the fist has a lot of damage output, or DPS output, and DPS potential. But it depends with the builds as well. Like, me, I like to use Demeter and Dionysus, just pure poison and slow. That helps a lot with the build. Sometimes I like to add uh, uh, Aphrodite into the mix, just uh, for additional charm. You know, additional charm, additional debuffs, all that. But with this weapon, you are going to get a lot of backstabs. So you're just going to dash behind, dash forward, dash behind, dash forward, dash to the side sometimes. So this, if you're using controller, you you might want to remap your dash to something else because you're going to be pressing those two buttons a lot if you're using PC. It's not that much of a strain, but uh, yeah, you, you'll be hearing a lot of your spacebar clicks. <laughs> <laughs> For those who have uh, mechanical keyboards. Now next is the aspect of Talos. Talos is interesting because it kind of it kind of mitigates the uh, the weakness of the fist a little bit because of its heavy attack. So when you heavy attack, it brings them towards you with like a magnet pull. And this works with any heavy attack. I'm pretty sure with that. Oh, dash heavy doesn't work. So it's just standing heavy. And the range is... A bit iffy. A bit closer. Yeah. It's like from here to here. Which is fine. It's about the spear range. Yeah, it's a bit longer than the spear range. But it's based on their current location. Not the original location. And... I'm not sure. But I think if you're using this on a boss, you will go to the boss instead. I'm not really sure. I have not used this fist too often. I namely just use the the light attacks when I'm fighting bosses and then just whip in heavies when I can. Yeah, uh, same same concept goes with any of the other fists. You want you want poison, you want slow, you want debuffs. Basically you just want to go pure DPS. There are there are builds with crit fist, which is interesting, but I haven't tried it yet. Next is the aspect of Demeter. Now this is interesting. So 
uh, after landing 12 strikes, you do a special attack. So, this is just additionally with your combo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2. Eh. So, you're... Basically, after your 12 strikes, your heavy does an additional attack, if I remember. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Boom. That, 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 that. Boom. So, 60 damage, and after the 12 strike... 135. So this is basically purely on your uppercuts. So I kind of like this fist more than the other fist just because again, what you want to do with this weapon? What do you want to do with this weapon? You just want to you want to punch like that and then when you have your uppercut fully charged, you just uppercut. It kind of it kind of synergizes well with what I'm trying to go for. So your main your main priority, you're just going to be punching 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 until you have your uppercut charged up, then you wield an uppercut for mass increase in your DPS. Basi basically, it's just a DPS increase. It's a DPS increase in comparison to the other fist. Now, when you upgrade it, is when things get really spicy because you have more bonus hits. So you can just like do do the normal thing of you know light attack, light attack, like light, light attack until twelve times, and then just finish it off with heavy. And that should kill most mobs in the game. And do a lot of damage for bosses. Now, the as last aspect is the... Uh, I have not unlocked it. Because I have not upgraded the fist. Uh, the last aspect is uh, the aspect of Beowulf. And if you ever played Udyr in League of Legends, it's more or less the same concept with his uh, bear stance. But you ha if you haven't, uh, basically what, in what it entails is that when you basic attack, you kind of do a dot on them and they have like additional bleed and stuff so it kind of uh it kind of works well with uh what's his name uh aries there there we go <laughs> i forgot his name for a second yeah moving on is the uh exagriff which is basically your gun so your gun again like a normal gun you hold it to fire it's fully auto but when you dash, when you dash, you do two quick autos, and your reload is default on controller. It's right stick. I don't know what it is on PC, but default it's right stick. You can uh, change that if you want to, but I'm fine with that because you know I have back pedals on my controller, and I can just press right stick freely. But when you dash, you do quick, you do two quick attacks. So, oh, three quick attacks. Sorry. Then your heavy attack is a grenade launcher. Now there are there are modifications where your grenade launcher turns into a rocket launcher, so you don't really have to aim. You just have to press the button, and it will go to the enemy. Oh yeah. Uh, next aspect is my favorite aspect. It's the as aspect of Ares. Ares. Ares, not Ares. So basically, when you use your heavy attack, when you're inside of it. You get a bonus damage, and if you have the rocket launcher, if you're just nearby the opponent when you're when you press the button, you gain the bonus damage. And that bonus damage amps out a lot. So 174 you saw there before I had to reload in comparison to 120. That's a huge damage increase. So if I get the damage, 132. Which is massive, like that. That adds up with like all your other uh, blessings from your gods. So let's say you have poison, you have slow. That adds up a lot. And again, that that's why I said like the fists have a put one of the highest DPS potential, just because it doesn't have to reload. With the gun, it's really close, but just because of the reload, it's not as high as the fists. Yeah. Next is Hestia. Now this is like the sniper style of gun in the game. So Hestia, uh, when you reload, so your next shot is empowered. So it's like a sniper shot. So 75, it only works for that one shot. And 75, 75, next shot's 15. Yeah. Kind of works like a sniper shot. So if you have the rhythm of it, now it's every time when you reload. And there's no cooldown. So if you have a rhythm with it, 
Uh, you can shoot, reload, dash, reload, shoot, dash, reload, shoot, dash, reload. Or get a couple of shots out, shoot, dash, reload. I don't really like this aspect just because it's a lot to manage. And it's just... Uh, the damage is okay, but but the main thing you want to do with this weapon is just like pure DPS. In comparison to having that uh, very strong shot, I would rather use the bow if I wanted that very strong shot. Now the last aspect is uh, aspect of Lucifer. I have not played with that yet. I have barely seen gameplay of it, but from what I understand... You get a Hellfire special ability. And I'm pretty sure that is like a burn effect. I can't remember exactly what it does. So yeah. So yeah that is all the uh, weapons and aspects. Uh, if I had to personally rank all of them. I would put the shield at first. Then the gun. Then the sword. Then the fist. The bow. And then the uh, spear. Just because of the uh, utility and flexibility of everything. But you know, all of this are based on playstyle. All of them are interchangeable to what you want to do, what you prefer. And, and it also works with different builds. Like, it depends also on what build you want to do. So I hope uh, all of you enjoyed watching and I hope you learned something from it. If you did, remember to like the video. Uh, and let us know in the comments of what is your favorite aspect. And uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for watching. Next week we'll be on the uh, trinkets. So I hope to see you there. See you.